So the first thing you're going to need is Audacity. And if you record anything in here, so anything, there we go, I've recorded anything. And basically, if if you just have a look here and make sure that the project rate is set to 48,000, then do export selected audio, make sure that it's 16-bit PCM. And when you export it, you want to put it in your Black Ops root sound assets. And then you can either put it in there or put it in its own folder like I have. I go to sound assets you'll see there's a TST folder you can create a new folder here I'm just gonna put it in custom I'm gonna call this anything save that I'm gonna clear make sure that there's nothing there and okay all good we don't need audacity anymore okay then if we go to your root and you go to share raw sound aliases and then open up user aliases you have a file like this uh, except it'll look like this and then you're gonna to wanna to hit enter at the end and uh, copy everything from test sound and all of these uh, commas. Don't delete any commas or anything and uh, paste it in. And I'll just explain what they are. The first part is the identifier and the second part is the path file and the file name. So we've just made one called anything. Um, and so anything.wav and it's in custom i'm gonna say anything id okay i know there's a better name for that but i can't think of it off the top of my head then we're gonna need to go to your uh if we go to user maps and you go to your map and you go to scripts zm and then your map name gsc i've got it open here and you're gonna have this code here and you're going to want one for each uh, sound the thing i haven't sorted out at the moment is the fact that the, t the first one will be playing first and then the second one will work and then the third one will work i want to work a way around that but anyway it's working okay so let's copy and paste and i'm going to go down here and this we need the third trigger now third trigger trigger three just make sure they're different okay the sound we're going to be playing is anything id and the trigger which we'll sort out in a second is anything trigger and enable anything okay so this is the trigger target name this is the message that you'll see in game the at at one is an automatic thing that it will either show an F or an X depending on what you're using either controller or keyboard and then it's waiting for the trigger to be collided with the player and when it is it will play a sound okay so I'm gonna save that I'm gonna go into the map open map in radiant if we just create a brush and we're gonna give it some height and uh, we're going to give it a script wall thing so we can see it in game then we're going to go near it and if we go to our entity browser all right then go trigger use and drag it into the view and we're just going to put it on the front there okay then press n to bring up the entity info and we're going to give it that trigger name which is anything trigger you can call it what you like just make sure that it's a unique thing and that it's the same here okay we are going to save our map and then we're going to do compile link and run and build and i'll catch up for you when i'm in the game yo welcome back okay so the game's loaded uh, apologies it's very laggy because i'm rendering a video and i'm also editing and my cpu can't handle it right now but that's the reason why if we go up to here you can see that it says press f to enable anything and if we press f anything it says anything but yeah that's how you do it um and yeah thanks for watching